एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल आई एम सूरज कुमार टेक्निकल कंटेंट क्रिएटर आई एम सुमित रावत फ्रॉम टेक्निकल टीम वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट फाइव वोल्ट सिक्सटी एम पी चैनल प्रिज्मेटिक सिलेंड्रिकल पाउथ सेल रीडिंग मशीन एज वी कैन सी वी हैव थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेल्स लाइक फर्स्ट वन इज प्रिजमेटिक सेल दिस इज प्रिजमेटिक सेल सेप ऑफ प्रिजमेटिक सेल इज स्क्वायर वन इज सिलिंड्रिकल सेल द सेप ऑफ दिस सेल इज सिलिंडर and the shape of this pouch cell is like flat so we need different machine to test this different type of cells but now semco infratech came up with a single machine to test three different type of cell in a single unit structure now let's know the detail about this machine with the help of our service engineer sumit rawat please uh, let me know about the this machine in details so basically previously we were working on 5 volt 60 ampere 64 channel only on prismatic okay but, but now with the extended version of this machine mm-hmm. we are going to work with the cylindrical also okay so previously cell- it was it was like 64 channel 5 volt yes. 60 ampere 64 channel now again it is 64 channel 60 ampere machine but we have done we have done the grouping like it's like first group yes. of prismatic is a like the first group of uh, cylindrical. that cylindrical one okay so let us suppose if we are going to charge discharge again charge this mm-hmm. cell cells so we are going to do it at a one time if we are going to uh, test the prismatic one so we are going to test only prismatic and if if we are going to test the cylindrical one so we are going to test cylindrical one only you have talk about the prismatic and cylindrical only yeah these clips are for pouch cells yeah for, these clips for, are for, for, for pouch cells also so basically this machine is for prismatic cylindrical as well as pouch cell okay so how many channel in this uh, machine so basically in this machine we have 64 channels okay as previously i told it's 5 volt 60 ampere 64 channel machine okay so yeah the steps are like first we have to charge yeah basically as previous machine as this machine is cell gating machine so the first step is of charging we are going to charge the cell to its highest rated okay. voltage and the, then the second step to... is rest mode mm-hmm. and the third step is again uh, we are going to discharge the cell to its low rated voltage and fourth step is rest and the fifth step is that we are again going to charge the cell with the nominal voltage up till nominal voltage basically till nominal yeah. voltage so uh, where we are going to see these parameters uh, which we ha- you have just so basically this machine is of sc so uh, we are having a special soft- software for that okay that software we are going to see in the laptop in the laptop yeah okay let's see this is the interfacing yeah. software yeah, yeah. as we can see this is the interfacing software and this uh, pc or laptop is connected with the can connection with the help of can connect communication cable with the machine now sumit please explain this software in detail so this is the interfacing software of this machine ets battery formation and capacity division system as we can see this pc or laptop is connected with the help of this lan cable this is the lan cable and uh, this is connected with the machine now sumit please uh, explain this software so surat basically in the software as you can clearly see these are all the channels channel number group one I, previously just I, i told you that there are groups so basically there are eight groups as you can clearly see that each group has eight channels okay. so total 64 channel machine is this okay. so basically as far as the step part is concerned so we will directly go to this interface this is the first step as previously i told you constant current constant voltage charging and as this cell is lfp so that's why we are giving the upper voltage 3650 generally what we do we charge the cell by 0.5c rating so for that cylindrical one as the cell is 15h so that's why we have given 7500 milliampere for that current current part and the second step is rest one third step is charging one fourth step do we are not added anything here but the fourth step is again rest and again for the fifth step we, we will go for that constant current constant voltage charging till its nominal voltage 
So how many times we have to repeat this charging and again this is discharging and again you are saying that we have to charge. So, so, bas- so basically what we are going to do is we are going to repeat this cycle depending on our if we are in R&D phase so we, we can repeat this cycle till uh, three loop and okay. if we are in production phase so we need to repeat the cycle for uh, one loop only. Okay, and for the uh, raw cell, for the just manufactured cell? So for the just manufactured also, sir, basically I just told now, if we are in R&D phase, mm. if we are testing the cell, mm, so we need to test the cell for three loops and okay. for production we need to do it for... Okay, this is only one cycle, no? one charge, cycle, rate, charge, discharge, yeah. and yeah. this is one this cycle. This is one cycle, basically. If, okay, yeah. now let's peek inside this machine, the standout features of this machine. The first standout feature of this machine is that this machine have hydraulic feature. The hydraulic feature means the fixture with, in which we have to connect the cells has hydraulic structure. As Sumit, please press on the switch. As we can see, when the switch is pressed, the cells are going upward to connect with that knobs and uh, you can see that finally it is connected and similarly it can be can go downward by pressing that downward button so this is the hydraulic feature about this machine now the second most important feature of this machine is that it has temperature sensors the hidden temperature sensor previously we have to uh, fix a temperature sensor wire up, uh, on the cells but now in this machine this extraordinary features gives us the us the ability to connect uh, sense the temperature from here only this is the temperature sensor this is automatic adjustable temperature sensor so for the third feature in this machine as previously I told in the software part also that there are grouping in that so as you can clearly see the this is first group this is second this is third this is fourth and the same goes at the other end of, end of the machine and the same goes here also the, this is first group this is second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth so basically in this machine we have a feature like if we are charging, discharging this group, so we, group. so we can charge, discharge second group. We can't char- charge, discharge same group, but we can charge second group. Let us suppose if you want to charge your cylindrical cell as well as prismatic cell. So 32 you can charge prismatic and 32 you can charge cylindrical. And the fourth feature for this machine is that all the channels are independent. Let us suppose basically the word I use independent is like if we are charging this channel so we can discharge the channel again if we are charging this channel we can discharge the channel so this machine is independent of their modes charging discharging so you want to say that if these are the channels yeah. as these are the channel you can say that uh, you want to say that uh, one channel can charge and other can discharge, discharge at the same time at the same time wow this is also a cool feature of this so this is all about the our uh, cell grading machine which can charge and discharge prismatic cylindrical and pouch cell as well so this this is all about this machine see you in the next video thank you